Hi, welcome to week 12 of the Monologue Project. This week we have Eight, written by Ella Hickson. The character is Astrid. I love this piece. I absolutely love it. It might be my favorite one that we've had so far. Um, not because it's extraordinarily well written. I just, I really like the way it handles the particular subject at hand. And so I'll let you just discover that on your own. Um, this week is presented some particular challenges in that I just overbooked myself. I came down with a little bit of a cold, flu, something, and I am rehearsing two shows at once, and we were filming the uh, first episode of our second season of our web series that we do, and so it was just too many things, and it is now 11.20 at night on Monday night, and this is my last chance to get it in on time. So we're getting it done now. So. Without further ado, um, this is eight written by Ella Hickson's Astrid. Oh, and I meant to tell you, I have a boo boo on my nose, and I don't know why. And I've been covering it for two weeks now, and I didn't want to cover it anymore, so you just have to deal with the funky on my nose. Sorry, just a thing. Uh, eight written by Ella Hickson, Astrid. People talk about guilt as if. It's an instinct that the second you do something wrong, you feel guilty. I don't. What I'm feeling is power. You always join the story at the bit where they're sorry, when they're desperately begging for forgiveness, but there's something before that. There's now. In that space, after the act and before the consequences, when, when you got away with it. And you're walking out of an unknown door, back down an unknown street, and it is still thumping in you. Dawn's breaking, dew's settling, and you're skipping back home, flying on the thrill of it. You can even taste it. Even back here, the quiet click of the door, the tiptoe in, the alcohol's wearing off too quickly, I want it back. Our bed and all the stuff that makes up life, our life, and I don't feel like a traitor. I can lie here while another man's saliva dries off my lips and I can remember another man's face bearing down over me and I enjoy it. I enjoy it that this all seems new again. His alarm's going off in 10 minutes. He'll roll over and grunt, curl himself around me like a monkey with its bloody mum, just like every morning. He won't notice that anything's different. He won't see that I have mascara down my face or that my hair is wet because I've been running in the rain to get back before he wakes up. He won't notice that I haven't been here, that I'm drunk. No, for him I became invisible long ago.